Hi guys, Irish Trekkie back in Elite Dangerous. Uh, this time we are looking at the Type 7. Um, you have seen the Type 6 before on my channel and obviously the Type 9. Uh, but this stands in between. Um, just some information from the storefront. The Type 7 transporter is Lake on Spaceway's medium sized transport vessel. Uh, this is the new model released in 3290. It's slow but moves a lot of tonnage for its size. I'm sure it does. So, actually, let's just have a little, 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 can we talk? Let's just have a look at the cockpit. So, we definitely have a Lacon vibe here, but this is very stripped down. We have some kind of frayed wires here just hanging. So, it's definitely kind of like a cross between the 6 and the 9. You're kind of out on a limb here. But we all know what this looks like. It looks like a space whale. In no one sense. In no uncertain terms, even. Nothing much exciting here. But yeah, pretty decent I suppose. Got a pretty decent view. But she's a big Bertha, so let's just have a quick look at her on the outside anyway. In the outfitting menu. So, four small hard points. She's not going to end up any fights, but she maybe can defend herself. Four utility points. Oh, she's a... Do you like this ship? She's kind of fugly. But she's a hauler, you know. Um, 10 megawatts. I suppose you're not going to want too much power. Good jump range, though, out of the bat. 10, 11 light years. Um, we get 32, 32, 16, 16, 8. So you can probably update, upgrade these to 64s anyway, or maybe even. No, probably just 64s. And um, actually, let's just see. Modules. Refinery, blah 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 blah. Cargo. Where's the cargo? 64. Yeah, 64 is as much as you get in there. 64, 64. You get two 32s, eights, and we have what? Well, basically two other slots. You might want the discovery scanner. Could be handy though in uncharted areas. So we can put decals on her. Uh, let's put the penniless one on again. Put the penniless one on here. And let's just put the skull on this side and we'll have a quick look. They look very small, <laughs> you can just see the size of the ship, you can't even see where the other ones are, just on the side actually. But uh, yeah, can't really show you anything else on the ship, so she has some kind of fins on the side, so you know, atmosphere going down to settlements and so on and so forth, definitely in this ship's future I'd say. But uh, let's take her for a spin, see how she handles. Probably not going to have her dancing around the station. Didn't do too much, too well of a job with the good old federal drop, drop, sh drop ship even. I almost crashed her into the side. Well, no, I tell a lie. I did crash her into the side. We can see one of the panels down there. Why is the door open there for the gun mount? Ship Interesting. Engines engaged. Up we go. She raises fairly easily. Landing gear retracted. Orca coming through. Don't bounce off me. Now she's got a lot ahead of me. Up above me, so I kind of want to come at this low, don't I? Yeah, that seems to be the trick. She's quite, you know, maneuverable. She's turning around fairly easily. What is she going to get up to? What is she going to get up to there? 120? Let's put full power there. She crews at 185, 180. Boost to 300. Didn't get there. Almost 300 to the boost. So let's bring her back into the blue here, see how well she turns. Oh, God. She's not liking that maneuvering. Nah, she doesn't like that maneuvering, but she's she turns, but she rotates very easily. I'll give her that. But this does exactly what it says in the tin. It's a medium hauler. Nothing more. Nothing less. Let's see how all the farmers are doing here. Would you like to buy my wares? 
I have lots of cargo. And those solar panels are really ruining these guys, sunshine. No sunbathing for you today. What do you think of this ship, guys? I'm sure if you're a trader, this is definitely on your horizon. I think it's about 17 million. I'm just going to go, what kind of ship is that? But it was the pylon there. So let's see how she lands. Or how easy it is to land. Let's knock back the power on the engines. Let's not uh, go for the suicide run. Woo! This station is oh so busy. I want to get down lower. Oh crap, Orca. Ooh, that was close. Out of the big ship, she's one of the most maneuverable for her size. Landing gear deployed. And let's bring her down into this commercial Docking landing pad. What? I think I was near. Jeez, that's some bounce. In a landing was that? That was crazy. Anyway, short and sweet. Thank you very much for watching. Do leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to hit the subscribe point, point even the subscribe button, not to miss out on any up and coming videos. Your support is always, always appreciated, guys. And uh, as normal, I've been Irish Trekkie, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.